Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because I'm going to be trying on this beautiful vintage style 1920s flapper dress or Charleston dress or Great Gatsby dress. I've never had one of these before um, and I've always wanted one and I cannot wait to try it on. I've always thought they'd be too small for me and they wouldn't fit. Um, so this one looks really good. The size looks really good. So I'm going to go and try it on now and you can tell me what you think it looks like down in the comments below. Let me hide you away and I'll be back with you soon. Ta-da! Here it is. Here's the costume. The little headpiece on the side. What do you think? Welcome back to this video where I've tried on this costume. I'm going to show you how it moves in a minute. But already I am absolutely loving how it looks. I love, love it with the beads. I love these shoulder parts um, and the fringing on the shoulders. These would be amazing for doing shoulder shimmies. Um, I've just styled it by taking my hair onto the side. Um, I've ordered a new headpiece. I've just popped in some feathers just for now, just to see how that's going to look. Um, but yeah, I think this is a style I can get away with. Um, I like the little finger weaves that everybody has for the, the 1920s flapper girl, Great Gatsby style, but I just find those quite difficult to make. But this little messy bun on the side, um, I think it's gonna work really well. Yeah, so I can't wait to get the rest of the bits and bobs to go with that. Um, but the dress fits beautifully. It sits beautifully on my shoulders. Um, it's great across the chest. Um, I'm going to go move the camera back so I can show you how it's all looking full length. So here we are, here's the costume and you can see how I am excited I am about how well it fits. It's just beautifully figure hugging, um, there's no stretching or pulling, um, it's really true to the size. Um, the mesh is, is lovely, it's, um, it's not really got any stretch in it but the fabric underneath is a little bit stretchy and this sits so nicely over the top and I am just so pleased with how well it fits and how well it looks. I just absolutely love it. I feel ready to go and party. Um, I've got my headdress on, I've got my beads um, and I feel ready to do some flapper style dancing. So we've got this lovely fringe because it was all about the movement. When I do my shoulder shimmies, you can really see the fringe moving. If I take a shimmy here, you can see the fringe moving, but it's the swirling I like. Um, and now we have to see what does it do if we try the Jarlston. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I always thought the Charleston was such an impossible hard step to do, but it is absolutely lots and lots of fun. Um, and if I can do it, then anyone can do it. Or have a go and just enjoy trying and um, get, get your endorphins going and feeling good. So I'm just gonna change the camera so you can see my feet properly. And I'm gonna show you how we do the Charleston, but let's just have one more look at this beautiful dress from the front, from the side, from behind.
often is about stepping forwards and backwards. So we're going to step forward with one foot and together, back with the other foot and back together again. So we've got forward and back and forward and back and already we're starting to feel a little bit Charleston-y. So this foot is always going forwards and back. And this one is always going back and forward, back and forward, back and forward on the same side. So we've got forward and together, back and together, forward, together, back, 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 together, and rest. Now, to get the little Charleston feel, we need to just add some heels in and out. So if we just start by taking the heels out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. And this is really all there is to it. Um, and it's just about this feeling of, uh, of your feet twisting on the floor really. So you do need some shoes that are going to allow you to twist nicely into the floor. Um, these ones have got like a little bit of um, suede on the bottom that helped me to do that. Um, so I had to take them to my local shoe menders and get them to stick this on for me because my feet won't fit into the proper dance shoes. But you can get your own um, dance soles st stuck onto any shoes. So we're going to start by taking the heels out and when we come in instead of keeping our feet in the same place we're going to come in with our feet in this forward position then they're going to come out and in again here then they're going to come out and when they come in they're going to come in behind so we've got this out in out in out in out in in out in out in out in and when you get going, it gets really fast and really fun, and you can bring your upper body into the move and just flap your hands around. Maybe that's why it's called flapper dance. I don't know. If you know what it's called flapper dance, then do let me know down in the comments. Let me show you this movement from behind so you can follow my feet. So we've got, first of all, forward and together, back and together, 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 back and together. Then we've got heels out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. So we're going to start out, at the step, and come in, out, together, in, out, step back, in, out, in, together, out, in, out, in, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Well, I hope that's broken down the Charleston for you a little bit and made it a little bit scary because um, I really believe that all dance is just to be there to be had fun with and to be enjoyed um, and to give you that wonderful boost and vitality. So I hope that's inspired you to have a go at the Charleston. For more tips on dancing and costume styling, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like this video. Um, I'm so grateful for everybody's support. Um, I absolutely love making these videos and I will see you in the next one.